Hey folks, it's Antar1011. Sorry for the late upload, but I am back with a new black and white battle. Um, this is a battle that I had a few months ago uh, with my Val team. I guess it was back in April before the UU tier was released. I've since converted this team to UU uh, entirely, and you can check it out. Uh, check the, out the first two battles I had with it on my channel. Um, anyway, as I always do with this team, I lead off with my peanut. Oh yeah, sorry, my opponent is Argolax, who I've battled once before, but this is a nice rematch here. Um, so. I lead off with my Peanut, my Shiny Dawn fan, and um, he goes ahead and uses Beat Up on his Weavile. Um, I was expecting him to taunt, perhaps, um, but he didn't. Um, it it would have sucked for him if he had taunted because I had a mental error. Anyway, I go ahead and set up uh, Rocks, and now I do something stupid. I decide to just fodder my Peanut. Um, which is really stupid because, you know, I, I use this Dawn fan as a suicide lead when, you know, it really has so much more potential than that. It's a, you know, I, it's supposed to be a good spinner, but I never keep it around for spinning purposes. And that was really stupid in this battle, especially considering that he has a Fortress. Uh, and, you know, Fortress let, uh, sets up, uh, you know, a metric ton of entry hazards. So anyway, I go ahead and send in my human on the free switch, um, and he goes ahead and beats up here, and, um... You know, I was expecting him to switch, but uh, the reason I didn't switch in my, um, this guy earlier is because even though it's not very effective, look how much damage that does. Uh, this isn't the best breed of, uh, my Embor, um, you know, my new Star Looker, as you can see on my, uh, channel, is, um, better. But anyway, yeah, I go ahead and Oko it with a head smash. I was predicting a switch into Chandelure here. Um, had I known he would stay in, I would have just used a, uh, 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 flame charge. Um, but yeah, so now, uh, I've taken out his Weavile, which is like, whatever, and he goes ahead and sends, a, sends him his Chandelure, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch out here, because, you know, he's gonna be able to easily KO me. Um, so, call Human out, go ahead and send in my Tachikoma, my Rotom Wash form, and he goes for the Overheat, um, and it misses, and, uh, that's nice for me, uh, really, really nice for me. Um, and anyway, he goes ahead and switches out his, um, Fortress at this point, and you know the the rocks that I've set up have broken his sturdy, and I'm gonna go ahead and hydro pump, and um, I'm just hoping that that's enough to take it out, because otherwise that thing's gonna be a huge pain in my ass. And yes, I do manage to take it out, so that's great. I don't have to worry about um, his uh, Ferrothorn, not Ferrothorn, um, Fortress, and I don't have to feel too bad about losing my spinner. Anyway, he goes ahead and sends in Salamence. Since it didn't, uh, there was no Intimidate. I know it's a Moxie set. Um, I think it's legal now, but anyway, I go ahead and send in Human for the Death Fodder, um, thinking, uh, you know, hoping that he wasn't going to go for the Dragon Dance, and indeed he did not, he went for the Dragon Claw, and Human is now dead, but now I'm able to switch my, um, Scarf Rotom back out, and it has, uh, the Hidden Power Ice, it's, you know, a pseudo bolt, uh, bolt beam set, um, and so I'm going to be able to one-hit KO this guy, I hope, considering it's 4x effective, so yeah, um, I was thinking maybe he would switch predicting that, but uh, he didn't. Um, I guess not too many Rotoms run Hidden Power Ice, but anyway, that's going to be more than enough to take out his Salamence, um, thanks to the self rock damage, although probably the self rock damage didn't actually matter. And now he goes ahead and sends out a shiny Umbreon, and I'm like, hmm, is that, a hope? is that an homage to me? I can't remember which team I used against him before, and whether my Umbreon did anything to him the last time. But um, I go ahead and send in my um, Jane here, uh, my uh, Selgor, uh, because it's got Bug Buzz, and also it's got Final Gambit, and I'm pretty sure Final Gambit would Oko, um, considering I believe we have the same base HP. I think both Umbreon and um, uh, Selgor both have base 80 HP. Anyway, he switches out, um, and so now I'm actually really glad that I decided to go for the Bug Buzz instead of the... Uh, the Final Gambit, not the Final Gambit would have done anything, I mean, it would have literally done nothing, um, and because of, um, so it's not like, it, uh, it's not like, uh, Explosion where, um, if it misses, then, uh, you know, it's, you still die, um, Final Gambit has to do damage to the target. Anyway, um, he sends his Chandelure back out, and I go ahead and send out my Reunculus, and he uses Energy Ball, which I find interesting, I guess he was predicting to switch into Rotom, um, but luckily I switched into my Rangulus instead, and um, I'm wondering whether that thing's either Scarf or Specs, so he does the switchy thing, but I guess he just figured it's such, at such low HP. Um, I go ahead and go for the Calm Mind here on the Switch, um, kind of predicting it, um, because I, I think that he was probably either Scarf or Specs, and it, you know, it wasn't enough to KO me. Um, so, 
you know, I get off uh, a, a calm mind, he gets off a payback, and now a wish. Um, and I'm going to go for the focus blast here and really, really hope that a plus one is going to take it out. But it doesn't matter because it misses, and I'm like, oh man, that Umbreon is the luckiest little uh, Umbreon you've ever seen. I think it's really funny that he named it Moonlight considering it runs Wish instead of Moonlight. Um, but anyway, switches out back into his uh, Chandelure, predicting me to use a focus blast, but I was thinking that he might do something like that, so I decided I'd go for the recover, um, get back all my HP, and uh, we'll see what I can do. Um, so yeah, now I'm back to full HP, um, and I'm gonna get, get the whole, uh, and he gets the wish, and that's gonna bring, bring him back to pretty much full HP, which is really impressive. He's gonna go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball, but luckily I have that plus one calm mine, so I'm hoping that I can survive. I'm just hoping, hoping I can survive. And indeed I do, with actually a pretty good amount of HP, although he does get the special defense drop, which is kind of lame. I go ahead and go for the Psy Shock, hoping that a plus one I'll be able to take out his, um, Chandelure, and um, drum roll, suspense, and yes, I take him out, and that's awesome because that Chandelure is a freaking monster. Um, anyway, uh, next up for him is his um, Electivire, and it's going to go for the Wild Charge, and uh, considering I'm down to pretty low HP, I think that's going to take me out. <laughs> and indeed it does. So bye bye Ramblis. That was actually pretty stupid to let my Ramblis die, considering you know, it's pretty much the only counter to that Rotom. Well, actually, I still have my Assault Gorge, but that's not that bad. I don't know why I send in Roomba at this point. I think I didn't know, I, I really didn't expect him to have the Fire Punch, but unfortunately he does have the Fire Punch, and that's going to take me out in one hit. Um, it was a crit. I doubt that crit mattered. Um, plus, what would I have done to him? I, I couldn't have used an Electric-type move. Um, what are my other two moves? Uh, resisted, Flash Cannon, and Hidden Power Fire, which is what I probably went for. Um, but anyway, he goes ahead and pulls back his Electivire, um, and sends out his Umbreon, which is going to completely wall me here. Um, I'm pretty sure those are his last two Pokemon, um, Umbreon and Electivire, and so I'm, think I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can take him out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Hydro Pump here, and just hope that I can take it out. Um, but Hydro Pump really doesn't do very much. Um, it's almost certainly a specially defensive set, um, probably somewhat similar to the set that uh, my Umbreon runs. Uh, I guess my Umbreon is uh, Sassy with, um, yeah, it's Sassy with, I don't know if it's 252 uh, special defense, but it's pretty high special defense. Um, it doesn't run Wish though, it runs um, Moonlight, although probably I'll switch it over to Wish at some point. Um, so yeah, get some, uh, get some more curses up. And I'm just hoping, and yeah, of course, uh, Wish is going to restore so much health. Um, although I, I feel like um, Hydro Pump is a three-hit KO, uh, so I'm hoping that as long as my attacks don't miss, it should be okay. But anyway, I predict that he's going to go for the Wish here, and I go ahead and send in Jane, um, and just because I think I can have a better shot at taking him out. And so if I'd gone for the final Gambit here, I think I, I'm almost positive I could have taken out his Umbreon. Um, but instead I go for the Bug Buzz, uh, and just thinking that it would be super effective and that I could actually KO. Oh, I really should have done some calcs, you know, it's not like these battles are timed, but no such luck, and he's going to go for the Payback here, and that's going to do a massive amount of damage, and I am going to survive, um, and I do have the Citrus Berry, so I'm going to get some recovery here, but now there's no way that I'm going to be able to take him out with Final Gambit, especially after he gets um, his Wish back. And now he's back at full HP, so Final Gambit would be a stupid move to use. I decide I'm going to go for the Recover, thinking that he's going to use Wish now, um, and that is going to get me back to up to full HP, which is nice. But unfortunately, he goes for the Payback, and, you know, he's at plus, what, two? Three, I, I lost track. Um, but Payback is going to, um, I figure Payback is just going to get me back to the same point, but it doesn't, he gets a crit, and my Jane is taken out. So that's some awesome hacks on his Umbreon part. Um, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon, um, my Rotom Wash form, and there's really nothing I can do here. Um, so I go for the Hydro Pump, you know, it's kind of silly to lock yourself into um, a move with such low HP if you can't switch out again, and now this is a Stall War. Um, but yeah, I, there's nothing I can do, because uh, I have Volt Switch, which is going to do less damage. Uh, Shadow Ball is resisted, and Hidden Power Ice is definitely not going to do as much damage. So I decide, you know, either I'm going to get a crit with Hydro Pump, 
or I'm gonna die. One of one of two things. Um, so that's where this battle is. Um, and I'm pretty sure if I can take down his moonlight, then um, his electivire will be an easy kill for me. Um, because it won't be nearly as bulky. But you know, the, my only hope here is getting a crit. So um, you know, not much time left. Uh, he's gonna take me out with payback eventually. So here comes another hydro pump. Um, my last hope of getting a crit, really. Um, and no such luck. He's gonna go ahead and go for the payback. I'm gonna survive with 8 HP, and I'm like, oh, ooh, there's a chance I could win this still. There's a small, small chance I could still win this. So I go ahead and go for the Hydro Pump yet again. I'm really lucky that none of my Hydro Pumps have missed, and it's going down, it's getting close, it's getting close. I get him into the red, it was a critical hit, it was not enough to take him out, and now Payback is gonna end this battle. So, great game, Argalax. Um, awesome battle. If you ever want a battle again, let me know. Okay, uh, one bit of announcement here. Um, so, po the Pokemon Master 14, you may have noticed he hasn't updated any battles in a while, uh, updated any videos in a while. That's because his computer is dead. He's working on getting that fixed and should start uh, regularly uploading again. But he also wanted me to announce that he has a tournament, uh, a new uh, tournament for Gen 5. Um, if you're interested, uh, comment on this channel and I'll send you the deets. Um, yeah, so uh, you should participate in the uh, in the tournament. It's a singles tournament, um, pretty standard rules, I guess. Um, and comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks. Peace out and so long.